Carvana Arizona Grand Slam heads into our final match coverage of the day presented by Hyundai Drew Felios alongside Dave Fleming Jay Devilliers and James Ignatowicz quite a matchup Ignatowicz former tennis player Vanderbilt University has gone all in on the sport of pickleball and the sport has just embraced him on the other side Jay Devilliers the flying Frenchman needs no introduction he doesn't these guys, as I mentioned before the break, have to find the way to get warm and play their best. They obviously have been to get to this point. They have played a couple of times. Jay Devillier won the last one. This was in the back draw at the PPA Hertz National Championship. He got that one 15-8. The first time they played was at the beautiful San Clemente Lifetime location. That was in June probably a little warmer there than it was here today. That was 11-7, 11-6, Ignatowicz. So uh, this is a very even match. And obviously, we have a new matchup for Sunday, no matter what, with Ben out of there. Who is Federico going to get? So we're going to have a very fun final, but this is going to be one heck of a battle. If you haven't seen a lot of Ignatowicz, he's Big personality off the court and big game on the court, and he is going to be a handful for Jay Devilliers. Um, big opportunity for these guys to make it to Championship Sunday. Let me ask you something, Dave. Kind of big picture. When you think of pickleball, you think doubles play first, but with these new players coming on, these new shots, so innovative, so athletic. Do you see the singles game maybe making strides in the future? Zero chance, Drew. This really? is a double. <laughs> this is a double sport. It is uh, played 90% plus by the seconds. pickleball community and doubles. The firefights at the kitchen line and all of that is what most people love. Mm -hmm. Now, what we've seen today for singles pickleball has been fantastic. But do I see a wild change to that? Absolutely not. Here we go. Last pace here to start, won by Jay de Villiers. Yeah, so this is going to be who can sort of dictate the pace, who can be the wow, difference zero. maker at the kitchen line. And you see, just to keep his own body movement, de Villiers sprinted zero, over to one. pick up the ball there. Nicely done by Ignatowicz. Yeah, that's just evil two-handed backhand. You want to talk about what the left hand does for a two-handed backhand. It creates that roll. Gorgeous ball from one, one. the Vandy star and student and everything else that James is. Oh, De Villiers drops one like it's hot right cross court. Yeah, Ignatowicz had a very nice victory over a great singles player in Gabe Joseph who hasn't played a lot this year to get here. One, one. Jada Villiers getting by Connor Garrett, Connor Garnett. Rather easily, I might add. Look at these big men move. Wow. That's just tremendous lateral movement from two guys well over 6-1. Devillier with the two-handed finish. That's really good pickleball. There's another from Jay Devillier. It's a point. So he's one of the few players that will swing through both a one-handed and two-handed two, backhand, one. depending on where the ball is and what the opportunity is. Will be. Point. Jay de Villiers, such a character, so bright. Two Dave speaks three languages: French, English, of course, and Spanish. Great dad. Just had a new youngster last year. Uh, he's got three great kids. A lot of support from that family, and uh, has pushed all in on the pickleball journey. Three, one. Yeah. Point. 
And now that backhand is working. So there's that one-handed backhand that is just lethal and a beautiful swing. Four, one. Attacking the Gnatowicz backhand volley there. Gnatowicz can't finish it off. The score is five Did everything one. right, put that final shot, and now our first time out. Early edge five, on James Ignatowicz here on championship court. There's another incredible passing shot from De Villiers. So if I'm Ignatowicz, I have seen enough of these one-handed backhand passes. Let's see what he can do with the forehand. We'll see if he changes Six, his one. return location. Point. He does indeed, but uh, just couldn't quite reach out and grab that next one. And Again, that weight and getting your body ready. Who is going to come out to the court Seven ready to one. go? So far, it's De Villiers. There are moments when De Villiers plays like this. He looks unbeatable, doesn't he? He does. You see this big frame with uh, every shot in the book. And, you know, he's not been on Sunday in a while and would love to get there. Points. Not a witch that time, a little misdirection. the opening places it perfectly that yeah. fist is pumping right now yeah that first volley after the really nice rolling backhand that one right there to be able to keep that in a relatively safe place Point. and de Villiers racing to the line to serve eight two side out. just misses that time side out to Ignatowicz I can tell you who hasn't lost anything is our man Dave Johnson, the referee. He is barking at what's the score, Dave? <laughs> Just gets the line. Yeah, and I don't know what Ignatowicz's game plan coming in was to test that back end, but a lot of them have gone past him, and now one's gone inside in. De Villiers looks like he is on a mission right now, just not going to be denied. Yeah, Ignatowicz can ask Connor Garnett what happened earlier when he got pickled in the game, and Garnett is so talented. Side up. Just out on the serve, so Ignatowicz has a chance here to extend in game Two, one. Ten. Ignatowicz, one of those guys, kind of like a gym rat. Practices, drills as much as possible, trying to improve in this game as quickly as possible. Yeah, he's had a rapid ascent, and his forehand and backhand set himself very up from tennis to play great singles. This is a big opportunity for Three, one of these ten. players to play on Sunday. The Vandy product would love for it to be him, but he's got a big hole to climb out of. You know, I think to James credit, he has also been able to bring his doubles along Four, with it, ten. that reach, the court coverage. He is just a terrific player. Is that in just going to be wide called by De Villiers? Yeah, which has called. a big opportunity this year in doubles playing with Tyson McGuffin, who is a scratch to, in this weekend because of that minor foot injury. Oh, Ignatowicz, just a devastating shot right there all over the kitchen. You know, and that's how you rise in the sport. You get noticed, you get better partners, you can do more damage, obviously, with singles. He's got the whole package there. He's just got to be able to execute, and that's not good execution there. Ten, four. Had fun watching him in Major League Pickleball as well. Sign up. There's 
De Villiers attacking. We're going to have another side out here to Ignatowicz. Four, ten. Point. Five, ten. So we saw a little bit of this with Jansen had match points in her case at different points for her opponent. This is try number four. Up against the net. Game point going to have to wait a little longer. Ignatowicz building his pickleball resume. I think he's got a fierce to the open championship under his belt. Great people of Grand Rapids. And that'll be a stop on the Carvana PPA Tour this year. It's not a stop, but uh, the players can play in it mm -hmm. this year. So uh, we'll see who goes up there and supports Paul Richards and that great crew up there and Andrea Coop. Oh, how about this? Oh, De Villiers. Wow, so impressive in game one. Welcome back to the Carvana two, Arizona Grand time. Slam presented by Hyundai. Zero, zero. James Ignatowicz going to have to battle to stay alive here in game two against Jay DeVillier. Wow. And not a way to start. Yeah, and you heard a wow out of Ignatowicz's mouth there. Like, what the heck was that? So, stares at the paddle, of course. Zero, zero. See De Villiers again with that devastating backhand. And Dave, I think right now the experience of De Villiers in this sport of pickleball, you're starting to see it on some of these exchanges. Well, it's been the, you know, the same shot has consistently beaten uh, Ignatowicz here. So let's see if the forehand is on point. And there you see, especially in these conditions, what is the wear of the ball matters a lot One, zero. as the chill continues. Sign up. Gets the miss on the backhand, and you will see those Ignatowicz feet moving more than any other player, especially when he's ready. Next time he goes to return serve, watch zero. One. those active feet. Come on, Just missing a little too often here to hang in with Jay de Villiers. Yeah, just not sharp and uh, to beat the players he's beaten to get One, here. Zero. This is a tremendous player. Sign up. So again, this is one of those situations if you're de Villiers, lots of talent in James Ignatowicz. Get him zero. while he's not quite as sharp or trouble could come. Oh, a little what? help from the net. Ignatowicz will certainly take it. Yeah, Ignatowicz uh, has been doing a lot off the court. Podcast, very what? entertaining. What? Really embracing the whole of pickleball. <laughs> and another what? outstanding shot. Dave, I w want to ask you, too, the, the shots where the ball skips, hits the net, and lands in are the sorry Two, not one. sorry's going to be extinct eventually you think no, i think it's you know tennis has had those a lot longer and you'll see guys and women hold their paddle up i think we'll eventually get to that point like some will and some won't right now it's you know the camaraderie we're 14 feet away from each other Three, and one. so i think sorry not sorry it's around for at least 2023 20, yeah, keep that alive ignatowitz trying to get to it just can't it'll be side out to Jay Davillier. Yeah, I like I like what I'm seeing from Ignatowicz on this comeback though. Much One, better three. with the accuracy on the pass. Let's go. Side out. Three. One. Oh, biggest shot right there for Ignatowicz. 
Yeah, you've been used to seeing him go cross court with that, but with the two-handed backhand, you can hold that and use the left hand to drive it down the line. That's a gorgeous ball from McDadowich. Right. Does he make it a couple in a row? Yes, he will. Receiver, the score is 5-1. Jay DeVillier will call his first timeout, so momentum is swung. Oh, I think those will be popular. Without question. Ignatowicz now. <laughs> Lots of momentum on his side. He is hitting shots right down that line here at the moment. It's 6-1 in game two. Yeah, and it's the singles bread and butter. Clobber your serve, get a short return, and hit a nice pass. Does that drop in? It Jay says not. no. I want to thank One, everybody six. for staying up with us here late tonight. Lots of great pickleball to come Sign throughout up. the weekend. Ignatowicz still going to town here. Yeah, just so much Six, more one. depth in both his serve and his return. And I think we'll, we'll be, for the balance of the night, we will be checking on how round and keeping shape the pickleballs are here. Time in, six, one. Oh, Ignatowicz, everything he's touching right now is turning to gold. Yeah, again, big serve, a lot of topspin on it. Davillier blocks it back, but short. And then again, I love that Ignatowicz steps into the two-handed backhand and then uses that left hand to roll it just so little margin but Seven so point. much of a perfect drop that's a beautiful play de villiers what? attacking Seven. cross court and that's the difference that uh, drive from ignatowich way too high and de villiers is going to put that away every time one. whereas Seven. the two-hander before that was so low to the net ignatowich going to continue to put on the pressure he does not want de villiers to wake up here in game two Villiers will get the better of that point. Tremendous foot speed, though, by Ignatowicz to get to that ball and then keep it in a safe One place seven. and tried to trick the Villiers behind him, but uh, couldn't Fight. finish that. It's that one out. 7 2 now to Villiers. 2 7. Side to Villiers. Can't get it across the net that time and side out to Ignatowicz. Again, that uh, inside out top spin cross court. You have to have so much Seven, perfect two. feel on the paddle and the ball, and that's hard to get here in the cold of the Mesa Desert. Well, not which he can fly around. I mean, his foot speed got it done that time. Yeah, it slides into it. Man, I'd be Eight, still laying two. on the ground out there, Drew, with the medical staff around me if I tried that. And what? right now he's got De Villiers off balance, Dave. Yeah, he's, he's turned him into a pretzel. He doesn't know which way to reach, and his serve Nine, is setting two. up shorter returns. And that flare what? that De Villiers had in game number one, non-existent here at the moment. Ten, two. Oh, the momentum of this game can change in the blink of an eye. Point, game, switch ends. That's going to be it. Ignatowicz takes it in game two, 11 2. De Villiers Point, game, double in. checking. Both officials confirm the ball is out. And here, let's get the call right. Here we go, game three. And De Villiers hits that one wide and long. Side out to Ignatowicz. Wait, Ignatowicz just looks like a different player since that game one, doesn't he? It was very cold starting out, but uh, it's found the range. Sign up. And you cannot kiss it in between that uh, Selkirk net zero, post zero. there and slide it back in. That would have been no good. Point. 
First point for Devilliers. One, zero. Too much mustard on this one. Yeah, and uh, Devilliers took a bite out of the Vulcan paddle there. So accurate in game one with that one-handed backhand. Hasn't found the range here in games two or the early part of three. Good job by Davili to lay off that one, Dave. It's an important skill. You don't think that way. You know, we talked earlier about what, what a skill is. Letting the ball go is a huge skill to be able to play this at the highest level. You see what it leads to. Another point for Jay Davillier right now starting to take control of this final and deciding game. Two, zero. Point. Wow, two missed returns and a missed backhand volley that Ignatowicz would usually make. Side out. Wide on the serve. I saw the ball out. So Ignatowicz. And that is a side out here. That's a critical error from De Villiers. When you get a missed return, you want that being thought about. And now Ignatowicz calls timeout. Just throw him off just a little bit. And then Receiver. kind of steamrolls from there. The score is three zero. Time in. See if Ignatowicz can three, uh, find the range that was so good in game number two. Just missed there timeout. by De Villiers. And you know, Ignatowicz took a timeout in a weird spot after he missed a third shot. Zero, three. A little question on the call, looked off, look out off the paddle. Point. Good misdirection by Ignatowicz there. Yeah, just really love that two-handed backhand of his and it betrayed him at the beginning of this game, but only down a couple One, here. Three. Oh, what a battle there. And you saw Devilliers say, I am not going to let you hit that two handed backhand. Every volley back to the forehand paid off. And he's jumping and flying around. It looked like Ignatowicz was there and let it go, and it stayed in. Four, one. Again, we'll switch sides at six here in game three. Davillier yeah. with another. Well, he is really creating his own energy right now, isn't he? He is. It's uh, tough to do that when you know there's uh, cold. There's so many reasons not to have that energy, and yet he's finding it. So we'll switch sides here, 6-1 in favor of the Flying Frenchman. One game number one, 11 to five, game two, certainly not in his favor, but what a bounce back here. On Championship Sunday, De Villiers and Ignatowicz. It has been a battle right now. All the momentum on the Flying Frenchman's side and it stays that way out of the timeout. Yeah, I just think that's a big moment for De Villiers there to just keep it going and be able to say, you know what, I was not good on this side earlier. Wow. So we had Ignatowicz abort come into the net because he didn't like his return, which usually means you are dead in that point. And he was able to rally back. Keep an eye on that one. Because you give Ignatowicz any little opening and he's going to jump right through it, isn't he? Yeah, because that volley was not nearly deep enough and Ignatowicz Again, the forehand was uh, the focus. We'll see if De Villiers continues to put it there. He's going to try the backhand now. Such a game of momentum, isn't it? As Ignatowicz has finally woken up here in game three. Three, seven. Let's go. 
James Ignatowicz right now hitting winner after winner. Yeah, he's like, okay, you want to target my forehand? Good. I want to hit forehand passing shot winners all day long. And this side of the court has been everything in this match. No. Side out. Devillier going to get it back here. I was looking for Julian Arnold today. Dave, he fell to Travis Rettenmeyer early, just in round number two. Yeah, Rettenmeyer played some terrific singles today. Mm. That's wide as well. Point. Timeout receiver. The score is eight. So sometimes with a top, we'll see if that pays off. Those two have been knocking at the door of Sunday. Side eight four here. Ignatowicz is going to get a side out. I'm not effective. Davila plays it off the net. Ignatovic can't straighten it out. Eight four. Oh, how about that shot from Jay? Inside in, runs around the backhand and just ropes it down the line. That's a great forehand for a guy that has been passing with the backhand on that side most of this match. Ignatowicz, couple drop shots. Yeah, that was a good first uh, backhand from Davillier. Sometimes you just get beat, so it's got to be now for Ignatowicz. That's why. And then that 11-2 second game, every one of those was an inch inside the line. Just so on point. Just not there so far here in game three. Billy is certainly taking it to another level. Too much on it that time. He's got a 9-4 edge here in the driver's seat in game number three. That's a tremendous deep return at crunch time from De Villiers. So, again, easy to serve big and play loose at 9-4. So can he do Nine, just that? Side out. Up against the net that time for De Villiers. Let's go. Let's get some points. Oh, it's been fun to watch these two athletes go head to head. Just. An incredible Four, level nine. of men's singles. We're watching. Uh, That's long. Great leave. And again, those were dipping cross court winners in game two from nine, James. Just can't find it right now. And he's running out of time. Well, perfectly done that time. So this is dangerous. When you're on nine for a while, you just feel like, man, I, I see it. I see that finish line. Ignatowicz has to add some scoreboard pressure here. Oh, how about that get from Jay? So good, one-handed Dave. How good is that? So the flick behind the back, Nine, ATP, four. and then Ignatowicz makes a mistake, but this is ridiculous court coverage from Davillier. ATP yes. number two in as many points, and now he is on the brink of Championship Sunday. One on the backhand, one on the forehand, and he has Sunday on his paddle. Match point. Referee timeout. Time in. Ten. Four. Pause in the action. Jay Devillier. Welcome back, everyone, to Championship Court here with Jay Devillier. You're headed to Championship Sunday after an incredible battle over three games. You took a break after game two. What were you saying to yourself? How did you want to finish in game three? Yeah, I felt uh, one side was a little bit easier. I started on the good side. Uh, I won the first game, and then he played much better in the second game on the good side. So I was just thinking. Start strong and then try to finish it. And uh, I was very pleased to have a 6-1 lead uh, at the turn. So yeah, I'm just very happy to close it. Well, we've kept you out here for a very long day. It was cold, it was windy, but you're still out here able to battle. How did you grind through today? 
yeah, it was definitely a long day, but uh, you know, uh, it was a good end of the day. I'm very pleased to 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 go back to Sunday final in. And, uh, you know, I'm just going to give my best and, uh, and uh, try to beat uh, Federico. Well, in a twist of fate, you are going to see Federico on Sunday. He had the upset of the day. How do you prepare for that matchup? Yeah, I've played him uh, several times now. And uh, he, the last two times, he had the best of me. So hopefully I can give him a tough match and uh, switch that around and win, uh, win that title. All right, let's go. Good luck on Sunday, Jay. Thank you. Drew, take us away. <laughs>